What's up everyone, it's Submission Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do a new video, guys, on something I just purchased. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time and I finally found one and I saved up enough money and I bit the bullet, guys, and I finally got it. Something that's gonna help me build cars faster and make it a little easier to do certain things. I won't have to be crawling on my back anymore, guys. I'll have stuff up in the air. I got myself finally a car hoist, guys. I just picked this thing up today. I might have paid a little bit more than what it's worth. But uh, the person that was selling it had just purchased the property where this was at. He was not going to need it or use it. And he basically... Uh, Sold, bought the house and sold the lift out of it and I think I got it I got a little bit more than what it, they are kind of or about the same as what they're new and this thing has only got nine months use out of it uh the previous owner that had put this lift in only used it for about nine months after that uh, I just kind of sat the new owner decided to sell sell it because he was never going to use it so here I got it um, there is still quite a bit of things I need to get to put this lift in. Uh, I have to check, for one, where it's going to go in here and check the thickness of the concrete. If the concrete's not thick enough, that is something I have to replace or do. Uh, for now, if the concrete is only a couple inches thick, I or two inches thick, I will end up cutting out the section and then basing that at to like at least four to six inches of concrete. So that will be the next project if the concrete isn't thick enough. Um, otherwise, what I was thinking about doing is putting, putting the lift in, regardless of how thick it is, and then building a, a base that uh, welds to this uh, lift, I guess. So I would weld the... Uh, like a square two or square tubing to the sides of this lift and basically box it in to sturdy it on the concrete but um sh i have to shim it and all the other stuff and it'd be really hard to do when it's uh <clears throat> in there but so where the lift is gonna go is i gotta open up the shop anyway since that's where it needs to go Hello darkness, my old friend. I'm gonna get this open. It is basically right here. So my ceilings are only about 10 feet, give or take. Uh, power wheels, they will end up coming down. But basically, right here is where it's gonna go. Um, I can see I got cracks in my concrete, quite a few cracks. So I'm going to drill into this and see how, um, basically, how bad it is. Like how, how thick it is. If it's, if it's only two inches thick, I'm going to basically cut from there cut this whole section out here from there to probably probably about somewhere in here cut it out all the way out to here i might end up doing just along the wall basically and leave whatever concrete's there and just kind of slope it all in when i when i do that kind of what they did here so i think this was existing and then they re-poured this which would have been way nicer if they just did the whole thing, but realistically, that's just how it is. It almost looks like they kind of sloped, kind of sloped it in or something. I don't know why they did that. But, so what I'm gonna do is if the concrete's not thick enough, and I honestly should just redo it anyway, but for now, uh, if I just put it in, just to put it in, I would build that frame that way it can't tilt or nothing. 
but it will end up sitting basically a post will be right along that door there that's kind of what i'm thinking where it's gonna sit is one post will be there and then right in line, right in line with that door i think that will be my best option because then if you look at the rafters the car will sit car or whatever vehicle i have on it will go up in between these two uh, this one here, I'll probably end up moving over just a smidge. I uh, might move it an inch or two or so, or like a like six inches that way, just so I can get a little bit more through there. But honestly, I probably won't even need it that much. And then this light here will end up coming out because it doesn't work anymore for whatever reason. And I'll probably end up rewiring uh, some sort of box in there, or a, like an outlet box, or might end up actually just uh, putting different lights in up there so I got better lighting in here. But that is what's new, guys. I, If you can tell, I cleaned out the shop. There is no derby projects in here other than a couple new little toys not really new uh that is not my motor that is a buddy's motor we're gonna get that thing going this is my new toy got this thing go up and going it, run it runs actually really really well got my new headers i make i they sound amazing guys but i will have to post a video up on that and then old tried and true i had smashed the front of the uh block off or not block, the uh, water pump off. So that is all new pulleys and everything on there. And this motor still runs really, really well. So we are going to be having not really fresh motors, but kind of cleaned up and ready to rock. This one's definitely fresh. Never been in a derby, so that will be in my new tried and true, guys. But there you go, guys. There is an update on what's going on around here. I'm so stoked to finally get this thing up and going. I am very stoked. The only thing is, is when I put the lift in, I honestly wonder if I should put it at an angle. I think that might be a better option. And then I still would have to move that center truss there if I'd put it in at an angle. And make it a lot easier, too, if I would do it that route. I think that might be the route to go. Is just put it in at an angle and call it good. I think that will be the route to go, guys. Because then I can, instead of trying to come in here and then 90 back and whatnot, I can just come in right at an angle, just like this, come through the garage. Straight onto the lift, we'll lift it up. The only thing I'll have to do is uh, probably move this truss, which isn't really that big of a deal. Because what I could do is just move it, move this back into here, or move it up even. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I will probably end up, maybe I'll even add two in something to stabilize it here and then just move this one back a little bit and put it just so i can get it up and in but i think that would be the better route to go because then i could actually set it like here and then measure over where it needs to go over there i think that would be the better route because then i could line it up with this door like somewhere right here then move it over there i don't know i'll figure it out plenty of time guys but there you go guys there is my new toy that i get to play with uh it will probably be a little bit before it goes up but i'm gonna try to get it up before uh july at least because i have a lot of builds coming this year guys lots of builds lots of fun but thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate all you guys.
Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button if you're new to this channel, and we'll catch you guys all in the next video.